time to talk Chelsea on Football Daily, and to do that, I've got Dave and Adam. Hello. Chelsea have already been doing some pretty impressive business. They've done a lot of business, haven't they? Yeah. We're informed that once uh, Jose Mourinho said any manager who says they're done and happy with their squad is a liar. Yes. He well, says he's done for this summer. I'd say they are done, surely. They've, yeah. They're, they're going to be the team to beat next season. I think they made some really good signings. Thibaut Courtois is back as well, which is incredible. Is They've strengthened all the areas that maybe there was a weakness last mm -hmm. season, which is obviously what you need to do in the transfer window. Fabregas. Yeah. Apparently yeah. Arsenal didn't want him, no. so he was like, fine, I'll still come back to London, but play in blue. Yeah, I think Mourinho spoke to Fabregas apparently and, you know, <laughs> sold him the dream. Oh, what dream? The Chelsea dream. The Chelsea yeah, dream, which, yeah. which is effectively win the league. Win the league, potentially compete yeah. in the Champions League. Yeah. Get far. Uh, do you th what do you think he'll do for that dream? Going to get some assists, I reckon. Yeah. Got the got 13 assists in the league last season. Only Di Maria got more with 17. Yeah. yeah. So I think he's... He, it's The thing for me is how Chelsea are going to play. Who's going to play where? What's going to happen? There's too many central midfielders. There's too many wingers. I think Philippe Luiz is another great signing. Yeah. Won 107 tackles in La Liga last season. Only two players made more. Compare that to sort of a Chelsea player. Aspilicueta made the most tackles for Chelsea, just 74. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're bringing in a very tenacious defender. I've seen him in the Champions League last season, obviously, in La Liga. He gets forward very, very well. He offers them a lot of width like, further up the pitch. So, he could be their man. Got Diego Costa up top, I think that's a great signing. Yeah. 27 goals in the league last yeah. season. It's more than Torres, Eto, Barr and Schürrle combined. Yeah. In the how many did he score at the World Cup, Dave? I'm not sure about Diego Costa, what do you reckon? I think you it's said a one season wonder. That's unfortunate. Last season was the first season he's ever scored more than 10 goals in the league. 27, of course, I'd mm. say very impressive. Second or third only behind Messi right? If, so... If anyone can get a performance out of him, that would be Jose Mourinho, right? Mm. He's definitely an improvement on what they had last season, as you're saying. Yeah, yeah, Torres, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Eto. Yeah, so I think uh, he's a good sign. He'll be the one who's sort of going to bully all those defenders. He'll make space for Hazard and William and Scherler sort of cutting in from, from wide. But, yeah, I'm not 100% sold. But. Well, I mean, he is 100% sold. And he, he, is. he didn't cost them very much either. I thought it was quite a bargain for saying that what he could offer, 30, 30 million, is, yeah. is actually pretty good. I think it's a strange one. It's not, as a striker, like Adam's saying, he's a bit bullish. Yeah. Like, he won 116 fouls last season. So people, like, he's getting in people's faces and they're fouling him. Sort of as a Didier Drogba comparison, I don't think they're, they're alike at all. Costa only won 21% of his aerial duels last season. He won 39 out of 169, which is quite low for a striker. Yeah. So it's gonna, he's probably going to be bringing people in with his feet more than aerially, which will, Chelsea are going to have to deal with that style, but then with the likes of Fabregas, Oscar, they've got ball players now. That's interesting though. What if they sign someone like Didier Drogba on like a one-season mm. contract managerial yeah, thing? Impact yeah. sub. Yeah. yeah, impact sub. He'll, I reckon he'll start a couple of games widely. He's a widely player. Diego Costa and Drogba, that's a scary front line. I'm trying to think of their weaknesses on the pitch and I'm struggling because they've bought all these great players. They had so. a pretty good team last season yeah. and arguably should have done better. Arguably add, just adding to an already very strong squad and making it more competitive. Mm. Yeah. Feel free to tell us where Chelsea's weakness is I, I, who yeah. they should buy. In the comments below I'd love to know who you himself. think their weakness is yeah. because there, there is, that's a pretty stacked side. Well that is Chelsea. We would love to know what you think about this Chelsea side in the comments below. Until next time, that's transfers, that's football, that's Football Daily.